<laughs> oh, hello friends. I didn't notice you were there. I'm here to talk to you today about flesh eating disease, which is more commonly known in the medical world as necrotizing fasciitis. It's a rare condition in which the underlying tissue is destroyed. <laughs> this death of tissue is known as necrosis or gangrene. The infection appears to devour the flesh and approximately 500 to 1500 cases appear in the US every year. Normally the disease affects the abdomen or the genitals. <laughs> so chiggity check yourself before you riggity wreck yourself. It's caused by group A streptococci and other bacteria may or may not be present. Now depending on how susceptible to disease someone is determines whether or not they will develop the disease so small children and old people should be especially aware. It's possible to be cured, but if medical attention isn't administered within the first 12 to 24 hours, you'll most likely be killed. And while you're being treated, you'll probably get something chopped off, be it an arm or leg. Did I mention that it affects the genitals? No, why would I even say that? <laughs> Flesh eating disease took my arms, but I still have my legs. Ah! My legs! Holy crap! Oh no! Oh no! no! <laughs> oh, that is music. <laughs> but this is what it's really like. So, in conclusion, flesh eating disease is not a laughing matter. Flesh eating disease. Kids, be sure not to play with needles. I'm not sure if that even causes the disease. 